Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 12, and, well, it's not been long since last episode, I have the engine units required to make a car, so I guess that's what I'm going to do, um, if I can find the car. Maybe I haven't researched it yet, that's probably, that's probably why, yeah, I have not researched the car, but I have the engine units, so I have that going for me. What I plan to do is now start mining stone and getting that on the bus. Which means I'm probably going to need a lot more belts. And that's... Yeah, I should probably just grab the belts from here at this point. And the inserters. It's very debatable um, where the stone will go. But I will put it... I think it's best to put it in here. Um, I'm going to put it on the third belt because I will reserve this one for coal. This one for um, stone bricks, which I will also probably actually make. So I guess I, I, I want more than just one of the, I, I want two lanes going here. So yes, I'm just gonna bring this all the way out to where the initial stone vein is. Okay, so I'm back here. I've brought the lines under the little lake here. I guess I can get rid of this chest and I'm gonna make like a, actual mining facility here. So I need to make some mining drills and this will, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make half of it into just pure stone. The other half will go into stone bricks. So what, what I do with get with the mining facilities is I, I try to just, these are so sparse or s scarce that I'm just gonna do it like this. You can just see, yeah, this is, this is not, I, I, actually, what I meant was they're just not dense. This is a very, very, what, whatever the opposite of dense is. Okay, so I finished placing down all the mining drills. Like you can just see how how much stone there is. It's only 135,000. That's not a lot, especially in Factorio. That's not even enough. I, I'm trying to think. One stack of landfill, which landfill will become very useful later on. Like I'm not even sure if it's enough to. Or no, it's enough to make a stack of it, but. I'm not sure if it's enough to make a, a steel chest of it. It's so much that I can put it just onto one belt like this. Or, or that That's how few mining drills are. It's only, what is this? That's 14 of them. Yeah, that fits on one belt. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place all the stone back. I do not need 800 stone. So, again, I'm gonna use the same mining, or not mining drills. I'm gonna use the same stone, stone furnaces I would normally use to get like iron in this. So that means I also need to, um, yes, I need to spaghetti this so I can get coal out like this and then bring that over here. Um, there will be the splitter, of course, for um, getting the, or the, one of these is just gonna be regular stone, the other will be stone bricks. So. I guess this one will be stone. Um, the left one will be stone bricks. And I guess at this point I can start mining stone with with the um, yeah, just getting getting all these mining drills activated. So now you can see there's some stone, and there's going to be well the usual setup here with the furnaces. I'm probably going overkill with this, um, but whatever. It's 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 a, it's fine, and this is not finished, so I can actually produce. I can get automobilism. That that's gonna be great once I I can actually get cars, which are gonna be so much faster than this slow walking. Like this is crazy slow, at least compared to what you see later in the game, and especially with like stuff like aircraft mod that that speeds just have like your moving speed up a ton. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be the same as everything else, or th this build is just gonna be the same as the other builds that look like this, it's just with stone. Okay, so now I can see I'm actually, I'm making stone bricks, that, this will be very useful for making walls for military science. So now I can just bring, because I will, I will want just raw stone for some purposes, so I, I'll do that. The stone bricks, I'm actually, I want to go on the outer side, so I will need to jump over with the 
regular stone. That's totally fine. I have, I have plenty of underground belts. I can just do this. And now we have... Oops. Not, now we have stone and stone bricks on the bus. That's, that's going to be very useful. The other things I need for military science, if I was to look at it, I think I, I'm not even sure if I have it yet. Do I? I need grenades and piercing round magazines. And that will actually take a bit. And maybe I want to increase power production and iron production and just a lot of things because you can see, like, even at this point, well, I can check power. Power's fine, actually. But iron can definitely be upgraded because if I want to really keep making more things, I'm, I'm just going to need way more. Like, this... What this build that I have here, it's it's okay, but I'm gonna need I'm gonna need way more. So I'm just gonna do this is kind of not what I usually do, but it works for this situation because there's just so few resources here. Like I can I can just do this and this works. Um, of course, there's also, you know, actually, I, I'm, I keep forgetting there's the whole cut run ferret thing. That's probably why. And you can see how, even just how little iron's being produced, even from that. So, I mean, this this will just give a little boost. Also, this reminds me of the weird cut run ferret that is somehow in the middle of the iron, which makes no sense. Like, I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of that as well by just do using a couple of what I need to make the sword machines. Um, yeah, because I don't want cut run ferret mixed with my iron. That that that's that would be very, very harmful. So I'm just I probably just need at the most two sorting machines um, to handle that cut run ferret. It's not even a lot of cut run ferret ore. So again I'll use the filter splitter um, on the left side, I'll, I'll filter it to iron, like this. And then on this side, I can, I can put sorting machines here. Um, this is kind of inefficient what I'm doing here, but it's, it, it'll work. Um, well, except I need this to be one tile away. And then just put the inserters here. Um, do I have filter inserters unlocked? Yes, I do. So that actually will be very useful. Uh, what I'll actually what I'll do is I'll um, um, iron will go. Actually, we need four of these. And also, automobilism is finally done. What do I want to research next? Um, I may just want to do a basic military thing. Um, let's, let's see, there's also some Factorio++ plus plus stuff, lab research speed, um, there's carbonizing, which allows you to transfer wood to coal, that's pretty useful, um, but I think I may just want to research a basic military thing, I don't, I mean, I guess gates are pretty useful, good gates, um, also automation too, I sh should be another priority, I'll, I'll do that after gates. So now I have the um, filter inserters. What I can do is uh, this is going to be a little weird. I can rotate this so I can put a belt here, and then I can use a, a splitter like this, um, and then put input priority right. So see, this is going. I probably should just bring electric poles over. Um, just to see what I'm talking about Here this will be copper only so copper copper this will be iron and The last one will go into here as well um, So this will just be iron This I can I guess I can just loop it around like this and that works fine. So now I have a system for separating that little cut run ferret in the iron 
into whatever will be normal. So now I probably want to make a car. I have the engine units. All I need is iron. So I'm going to get that and now I can make a car. So this is going to be very useful for transporting me. I You can fuel it up like this. I'm just going to use wood and yeah, you can see how much faster this is. I'm going to be using the car a lot from now. Um, from, from this point on. I mean, maybe until I... Like, I honestly, even in the very, very late game, or the, at least the, late, the latest I've ever gotten to, I still use a car regularly. So, yeah. Um, now, one thing I noticed, actually, was that the... that I was looking at the cut run ferret or... Or, and, or the sorting, and this, well, it wasn't really working out. So if you can, if you look here, um, okay, I just need to, I'm, this, I will want to build roads eventually, or just dedicated paths or where my car will go, um, but it's fine for now. So you can see here that this is being limited by the iron or by the, by the copper. You can see this is full. I can't do anything about this. I'm really not sure what to do to fix that. Since it's a Factorio++ plus plus me a mechanic, um, there hasn't really been, like, I don't really know the usual solution for this. Like, the thing is that copper demand is just greater than iron demand. No, it's the other way around. Iron demand is greater than copper demand and then this makes this oversupply of copper. I mean, I could try to make more splitters, but it's also just gonna fill up like this. And essentially, if I can increase copper consumption, that's gonna increase iron production from the cut run ferret, which is kind of paradoxical, but that's what it is. There's only one vanilla mechanic that's kind of like this, where you have a chance of producing one resource and a chance of another. And that is nuclear stuff in vanilla, or the, actually the Coverix enrichment process. But the thing is with that is that the inputs, well, those uh, the outputs are the inputs. So, um, but this is different. I'm really not sure. Maybe what I just want to do is I just want to build green circuit factories. That may actually be the solution, which is weird, or or something else that takes a lot of copper. And the thing is that early game, there's not a lot of stuff that takes copper. Later game, there will be. But, I mean, green circuits is is the main is the main cause for consumption of copper, I think, in the early game. I don't really know what else there could be. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure what the, the way to go is. Because the green circuits are also full. I mean, actually, at this point, everything except iron gears is full. Which means that, well, um, the demand is mostly satisfied. But also, this is, some for some reason, not there. That will increase... I'm not even sure if that's going to take more copper or iron. Um, I'm really not sure to fix this problem. It's very unique to Factorio++. I mean, what I guess I could do, actually, I, I just thought of something. Maybe what I could do is I can actually make two separate belts. Um, this will this will completely revamp the build, but it's the solution. I don't see any other way, and I really need to make a more pronounced road through this. Like seriously. Um, okay. It, yeah, still takes two grenades. Um, there will be a day where it will only take one grenade to get all these trees down, but anyway, I'm going to need two belts, and this is also going to require a ton of fast inserters, not fast inserters, filter inserters, which actually do take a ton of fast inserters, and for that I'm going to need iron plates. So I guess I'm just going to start researching automation too, it'll be useful um, in even just the near future. Um, it'll allow for faster crafting speeds, especially when I'm when I just don't have landfill to like try to reclaim the water, reclaim, reclaim the land, um, 
against the water, like up here. Um, yeah, that will be useful. Okay, so what my plan is, that is I'm going to do this. Um, where you can see I, I'm going to build a ton of filter inserters. Half of these will be um, iron, half of these will be copper, and there's going to be two output belts, which is yeah kind of dumb. I could probably merge them into one, though, because this only takes one input belt. I don't see why this should take any more than one here. So I guess what I can do, I can do iron. Also, this is finished. It's pretty nice. I guess I can get this, which will spin. Which is a building that will that is faster at smelting. Um, it's not really useful at this point, so I'm not gonna get it yet. Um, I will want one fast inserter here to get copper or filter inserter. Oops, nope. I I thought okay, I command right click, not not left click. Or not it's not command. It's it's shift right click. But. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this on both sides so I can get it just, yeah, both sides. It'll merge into one belt. This should work, or maybe not, actually. If it merges into one belt, that, well, actually, no, it's it's, it's two separate belts that merge. It's not going to be, it's not quite the same. So now what I can do is copper will go directly here. Like, as you can see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another belt that will transfer or, or transport iron. I will need to make a few under, more underground belts um, first, but it's not that much. So now what I can do is I can do this. I can essentially put make one long belt like this and and just do it like this. This will separate the iron and the copper. And now with these separated, I will be able to, um, I'll be able to actually make the, the iron go on the iron side. So I can do it like uh, this and this should work. I'm gonna do a similar mechanism on the um, other other side of the belt, but it's, it's it's the same thing actually. So you can just see how much this is going to help iron production. So yeah, there's no really point into me showing you the build or showing you you how I make this. So also, why is there copper? Uh oh, that's that's bad. Um, episode's not over yet. I I need to get rid of this ASAP. Um, I don't know why there's like one copper appearing in there. Uh, let's. Is, is there. Is there a reason? I don't know why the. Maybe. Was this a one time thing? I don't see any more copper coming in. It's probably a one time thing, honestly. I don't see. Um, that copper problem. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.